Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan. And we are here to talk about... Mission Imp- you are what the fuck? Mm. Mission Impossible. Is it what's it called? Fallout. Fallout. Mission Impossible. Fallout. This is the sixth movie of the bunch, right? Yeah. And I just, I, I just think, yet again, this just reinforces the fact that Tom Cruise doesn't make bad movies. True, true, true statement. Except for the Mummy. Even the Mummy was watchable, man. No. With the exception of that zombie. But this was pretty good. Day. It was, it was, it was ultimate Tom Cruise. This was, this was, and at how he old ran he, for like 15 minutes. How old is this guy? Like 56, 57. Like Jesus, man. He ran for 15 minutes. Like. He ran a lot. He, he, there was a 15-minute run he scene. Got, he got thrown around. He, th- that, that helicopter scene, that was him. So I want to tell you something. Yeah. All the stunts were him. Everything. All the stunts were him. Really? He took helicopter flying lessons. What? To fly the helicopter. And you remember that scene where he jumps across the building? Spoilers, ladies and gentlemen. Spoilers. I mean, he jumps across the building. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, th- he broke his leg. He broke his leg? His ankle that. doing that one. Oh. And the, they had multiple shots. The director took off all the shots, but the one where you see his face grimace, they left that in. So that was him at the moment he breaks his ankle. But if I remember correctly, in that scene, he jumped across the building, and it was from the back. We didn't sure, see yeah, him. His, so it could have been a stunt double. No, no, I thought I thought that was a stunt. No, double. it was him. And that's where he broke his ankle because his ankle hit the wall weird. He shouldn't have done that stunt. He shouldn't have done any of the stunts. He did the halo jump. Well, that's awesome. Though. He did all his own stunts. So wait, the 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 motorcycle when he got hit, when the motorcycle hit the car. He did all his own stunts. He Jackie Chan did. Holy shit, dude! And uh, and it's him. He's the one that won't allow people to like. He wants this. He's probably got to sign a ton of releases. Yeah. You know, Paramount's probably like, "Yo, dude, like we love you, but like, sign sign this." Just saying. You could tell he's getting old though. Oh, totally. You can I see, mean, listen. See, in the fa- first of all, the first movie came out in ni- 1996. I, I can't do like 5% of what he does in that movie. I can't do f- I like, can't do 5%. Even either. in my prime, I yeah. couldn't do the shit he was doing in that movie. So kudos the, to him. The, the running alone, yeah. I would have been like, I'm done. Yeah, I'm kudos done. to him. He's in super good shape, apparently. Uh, yeah. But he's getting old. And, or, or he's jacked up on something. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The movie was great, though. It was a really good action movie. Really good action movie. Would we call it the best of the series? A lot of a lot of people are saying it's the best of the series. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes is saying it's the highest rated Mission Impossible out of all of them. Would you say it's the best? So coming out of the movie, I didn't think it was the best, but then thinking about all the action sequences and how they were real, and it was actually him. Eh, it's close. The action, great, but the action doesn't really define a movie. I mean, no. I mean, there's a ton of movies with action in it, but that doesn't mean the movie's fucking good. Um, I mean, overall, the movie was good. I don't think it was the best. Yeah, I, I think the story lacked a little, you know, compared to... I thought to, it was predictable. Compared to the other ones. It was it predictable, recycled it, it, villain. It wasn't on the same... And another thing, too, like, they made tons of references to past Mission Impossible movies. Yes, they did. Like, I didn't know my M.I trivia that well i was like who i was like who the fuck is this guy <laughs> you know i don't remember him at all you know it's not like going into a marvel or dc right. movie and like you remember shit like I, like they're clearly trying to like not make these standalone films they're all connected for sure but i i didn't i didn't remember i didn't remember half the shit that they were saying like the the, the mi6 british girl i don't yeah. i don't know what movie she was from i don't remember her at all yeah Do i i remember ving rames and i remember who is who looks super old. Well, he is. Do- oh, listen, Ving Rhames and Tom Cruise have been in this game since 96. Right. Mission Impossible. That's, yeah. what. what is that, tw- 20, 22 years ago? Yeah, but Ving Rhames is not aging well at all. Well, he's eating a lot of steak, apparently. Uh, some, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> he just looks a little bulbous. Uh, um, so, uh, yeah, but, but, I mean, 
Alright, so out of all the Mission Impossible movies, there's six of them now. What's the best one? I still love the first one. First, first one, one, hands down. First one. Hands down. Hands I like down. the story the most. Hands down. And there was a lot of spy shit. What do you mean spice? Like spy. Oh, spy. There spy. was a lot of spy shit. Ton, tons of spy stuff. Like this one, all they really do is... It's action. Is, the only thing that they've continued for the last, like, let's say the last three have been, like, super action-packed was the, the face... The yeah, mask. the face thing. But other than that, no, no spy shit. You know what this one didn't do that I'm used to seeing? And maybe I forget it and remind me if I did. But every Mission Impossible movie seems to have that Mission Impossible scene. Like the first one, he breaks into the CIA. Mm -hmm. That's the scene. There's another one where he's got to break into the Burj Khalifa in Dubai and do all these like impossible like things. Almost like a very Ocean's Eleven type thing. I, I thought that moment was the... Uh, Ocean's Ten thing. The, the helicopter. The whole helicopter 11. part. Yeah, but that was... That they, was super Mission Impossible. Yes, but they didn't explain it. They, you know how they go, first we have to go through here and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, they didn't know? do none of that, And no. then all the teams coordinate No, that. I mean, the the perfect time... Like, the, like that's signature Mission sure, Impossible. Sure, the only time they kind of did that, but they half-assed it, was when they were explaining the prison break, the, the car break. Kind of. Yeah. I'll agree with you. Yeah, that's where they kind of did it, but it was like half-assed. Yeah, and you know what else they did in this movie, too? They like they showed a potential future and what would happen, and then they actually like, did and, it. Right, and they, yeah. which was confused me. Yeah, I was a little confused, too. I'm like... Because that, that doesn't happen in the Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, yeah, they did change that a little bit. Um, but, you know, uh, Henry Cavill. Awesome. Fucking great, dude. But, like, his character Fucking was, like... great. Kind of like a doofus, right? He, he was. They made a, him just like a, a grunt, like a. Bleh. He 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 is he is the 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 muscle, the brawn. You yeah, know the, what I mean? The burly guy, but yeah, he's still in the CIA, so you know. He, 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 great job, like like in the bathroom scene when he takes his jacket off, he's just yeah. like, Ugh. you know. I'm yeah, just he like, was awesome. I'm like. Yo, you are Superman, man. <laughs> like, he's, he's way better in this movie than he is in Superman. He, he he's great overall. Yeah, I, I like. I, I never saw the the what was the what was the other spy film he did? The man. Who, uh, I forget what the spy movie was. They did a couple years ago. Whatever. Henry Cavill is great. Um, so uh, so Mission Impossible One, I think. Oh, so I'm sorry. Tom Cruise breaking his leg. Yeah. They had to stop filming for, for like six to eight weeks. Of course, he's got to heal. That's why Henry Cavill had the mustache in Superman. They didn't finish filming on time because Tom Cruise hurt himself, so he couldn't shave off the mustache. But how long do you think that mustache really took to grow? I mean, I don't know, man. There's white people that I know that still growing a mustache since they were 18. They don't have it yet, so. Uh, Henry Cavill doesn't strike me as that type of guy. I don't know. Like, have, have you seen his chest? His mustache was kind of thin. It was a little thin. It, was, it looked a little sickly. And let's be real, too. You're going to tell me the makeup department couldn't have recreated that yeah, mustache? It was a, I, who knows? It, it's in his contract. It was a dick move. It was a it's dick in move. His but I mean, I, I don't think it's a dick move. I mean, in Mission Impossible, like, you know, Tom Cruise doing his own fucking stunts. Yeah, Henry Cavill keep a mustache. I get it. But Ethan Hunt, Tom Cruise versus Superman? Yeah, but they were going, they're really going towards authenticity like here. Like Superman? Well. Superman. Right. Uh, still. Like... Arguably the most iconic character ever. Yeah, it seems like the Mission Impossible movies are a better franchise than DC right now, so... Well, whatever. It looks like Warner Brothers and Paramount were battling it. That's what it really came down to, I think. So, I mean... How much money did it take in this weekend? It's highest, highest grossing opening weekend for Mission, Mission Impossible, Impossible yeah. movies, which means, you know... Let's talk about Tom Cruise broke his ankle doing all his stunts, 56 years old. Is... Is there a Mission Impossible 7 with Tom Cruise as the leading guy? I mean, th being that this one is the highest, the one that's made the most amount of money, it's it seems like it's inevitable, right? This was the, I looked at it. This was the least amount of time between Mission Impossible movies. And Tom Cruise doesn't want to stop. Like, no, he doesn't want to stop. I don't think he wants to accept his aging either. Uh, but th there was three years in between this movie and the last Mission Impossible, which is the shortest amount of time between Mission Impossible movies. So, like, if they're going to pump out another Mission Impossible movie and have Tom Cruise... Made uh, $61.5 million. Yeah, and have Tom Cruise be the leading guy doing all the stunts, like, they need to start filming, like, within a year. Would you agree? It's Tom Cruise's second largest opening of his career. What? Yeah. 60-something? 61.5 million. That's kind of sad compared to today's standards, you know? Like, we got movies opening at, you know, 125, 150, and plus. 
Yeah. Mission Impossible 2 is the one that made $57.8 million in the year 2000. And Tom Cruise's number one debut was $64.8 million only for War of the Worlds. Awesome movie. Great movie. Great movie because Tom Cruise doesn't make bad movies. Maybe I mean it's good. Paramount's going to have to do it. It looks like it's Paramount's largest opening since 2014. Oh my god! The Teenage god. Mutant Ninja Turtles, 65.5 million. Oh my god! Paramount needs to step their game up. Paramount, man. you need to buy Image Comics or something. Holy shit! Wow, that's sad. And yeah. they and they own the Transformers franchise <laughs> and the GI Joe and, and all the Hasbro Ninja stuff. Turtles. Wow. I, right, like that's a little low, right? You think about Ninja Turtles movie should probably make more than 60 million. Yeah, but everyone was shitting on it because Michael Bay was behind it and he was getting a lot yeah, of and Transformers they were awful, backlash. Awful, man. That was awful. Ninja Turtles too. They though. looked great. They looked good. They looked great. But to tell you the truth, I kind of enjoyed the first one. I didn't see it. I liked it. I just know the second one had Krang in it. Yeah, I like the first one. And how can you fuck that? How, like, how can you fuck that up? No, it's just a brain, right? Yeah, whatever. Anyways, we're, so we're uh, we're getting off topic here. So Mission Impossible one clearly the best one. We agree. Uh, second best one. A oh, Rogue Nation. Which one is that? Is that I think f- four? Is that four or five? Yeah, four. Is that the one where five? They, five is that? Is that the one where they're in Dubai? Yes. That's Ghost Protocol. That's Ghost Protocol. Which one is that one? Number four. Number four. Ghost Protocol is number four, and that's the one with uh, Hawkeye. So, uh, Phil, right, Jeremy Renner's in that Jeremy, one. Right? Where they where they go to Dubai? Right. So okay, so that one's my number two. So, okay, my number two is number three with Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman was in the third one. Yeah, that's where he was the bad guy, and like they kidnap his wife, and like uh-huh. and 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 it does like nasty like fist fight at the end. It's good. It's fucking good. So third best one. I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't. You know what? I, to be honest, I just haven't seen him in a long time. But we can agree that Fallout, the movie that just came out, is not in the top three. I'll, I'll I'll give it number three for now. Will you really? See, I will. I'll give the Dubai one. Uh, Ghost Protocol. I think just thinking thinking back on on a lot of the stunts and have, I'm I'm gonna probably have to rewatch it. There was some pretty intense stuff. No, the action was hands down amazing. It was like Expendables action, yeah. like like on that level. It really was. But just great. that it was real, it kind of like elevates yeah. it, you know. And and Simon Pegg was great as Simon usual. Simon Pegg was good. And 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 uh, and even the villain, that guy, whoever the fuck he was, you know. Not bad, you know. Didn't yeah. do much, but he said Eric Johnson. stuff. Yeah, uh, and and uh, <laughs> shut up. But and and Henry Calva was Henry Calva was great, you know. So Mission Impossible Seven, they're gonna do it. They gotta do it. They're gonna do it, hundred percent. If Tom Cruise has to step down from Ethan Hunt, who takes over that? Who takes over the franchise? Do they reboot, or do they just bring in a new thing? Because Jeremy Renner, I think, was. Supposed to be the new yeah, but that's, Ethan that, Hunt. that's out the window, right? And that, but but the movie did so well, and Tom Cruise still had juice in him that they just kept going, yeah. right? Yeah. So so who, who do they find a no name, or do we do we get someone that we know? Like if you had to pick someone, who who would be who would be the new the new Ethan Hunt? Uh, today? I think they're gonna do a no name, right? I think they would too. But let's just say you had to pick someone, pick someone that we know, who who takes over the franchise. I don't know, man. You're putting me on the spot. I am putting you on the spot. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know either. <laughs> I Henry Cavill would have been great. Too bad he was a bad guy. He died nasty. That hook to the mm. face. Mm. Yeah, that was good at the end. So, um, is that it? Ah, the guy that does uh, the TV show. Uh, oh, shit. Now I'm blanking completely. What's the name of that show where uh, it was Shooter? The guy that plays Shooter. I don't know Shooter. Yeah. Ryan Philippine? Yeah. Ryan F- from, from fucking Cruel Intentions? Yeah. Fucking Reese Witherspoon's ex- yeah. ex-dick? Yeah. Really? Ryan Philippe. He should be uh, he should be Ethan Hunt. Is he good? He, I haven't seen him since Cruel Intentions. I liked him. I like him in Shooter. You remember that Mark Wahlberg movie? No. Okay, though, where he's... uh, Wow. He, uh... You're they, so popular. They God. hire him to... See, I uh, put my phone on silent because I'm polite to our audience. To protect the press. Uh, they don't give a fuck. It's a new generation. Just saying. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm a rude asshole. Yeah. Yeah. So. True. Grumpy well, old man. Yeah. And, you're, and you're 38. There you go. Wait, 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 you were talking. Yeah. No, I'm not. Is that really how you're going to be? Yep. You're such a fucking bitch, dude. What are you going to say after you said rude asshole? I, don't, I can't get any lower, so. You, you were talking about Shooter. Yeah. Shooter. 
Mark Wahlberg was in it. He's supposed to protect the president. He gets set up for murdering the president. Goes out to clear his name. And Ryan Felipe, what is the is the so villain? They, they did a TV show. Oh. Uh, he played they because they're doing. I don't know if you've noticed is they're do, they're turning a lot of these like movies into like TV shows now. because people don't leave their there, house you know, anymore. There, there, there's a Taken TV show. Did you know this? I, which is ridiculous. It's how, awful. Many time, how many times are you gonna take it's, somebody? It's, it's pretty bad though. Really? The show is bad. Yeah. I mean, Taken. The they, they didn't take it. They like murdered his. It's, it's this guy who got back from the military. They murdered his sister on the train. They didn't even take her. They I, just murdered. I, I'm her. just saying, Taken. The fact that there's how many three or four Taken movies? Yeah. Is like like how many times are you gonna take some of the family? You yeah. know, like clearly. You're you're not being a good husband slash father if you keep sure. letting your family members being taken, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know. I think Ryan Field would be good. I don't know. But you know, they're, they're doing this uh, Born Identity, right, on Amazon, the Born movies? Yeah, the, well, they're doing a TV a show. A TV show with, like, TV Jay show. Krasinski, right? No, he's doing um, Jack Ryan. Oh, Jay Krasinski. Oh, the Jack Ryan TV show, yes. right. And Jack Ryan's going to be Jay Krasinski. That's insane to me. Yeah, I can't picture him as Jack Ryan. I know because all you think of is the Jim, office. Jim from the right. office. But you know he did all those uh, Desert Storm movies and fucking you know Afghanistan uh, war, looks, war movies. I promise he has a goofy years. looking face. And and you did, did you see A Quiet Place? Not yet. Yeah, he he threw down in that man. So, anyways, Mission Impossible. Number six, Fallout, Mission Impossible 6, in theaters now. You got anything else to say about him? I saw... Um, you got to pick up the mic. I saw The Equalizer. We're not talking about The Equalizer. We're talking about Mission Impossible. Was The Equalizer better than Mission Impossible? Blame. Yeah. Hmm. What? Was The Equalizer better than Mission Impossible? No. No. You know why? Because Tom Cruise doesn't make bad movies. But uh, Neither does Denzel Washington. Post-training day. Did you see the, what's what's that movie with uh, Russell Crowe? Russell Crowe and who? And Denzel Washington from the '90s about the internet and shit, where Russell Crowe's like a program and. Do you know what I'm talking about? I. It's like. You know what I'm talking about? Bit, yeah. That movie's horrible, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I said post training day. Fences. You like fences? I didn't watch fences. It's a lot of talking. Wow. That's all it is. This Denzel's talk. super charismatic, wonderful human. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mission Impossible Fallout. Number six, Tom Cruise. Do you want to see another one? As good as they've been. Tom, uh, Mich- I'll keep watching them. I like spy movies. I wish there was more. I, I agree. I wish there was more spy to this. I wish there were more gadgets. I wish there was more, like, mystery, you know. But, you know, I, I think it doesn't. You know, like, you know what spy movie, and you people might kill me for this, I thought struck the per- perfect balance between spy and action, that Robert Redford... Sneakers? Brad Pitt one. No. Oh, Sneakers was great. No, it was definitely not Sneakers. It was Brad Pitt and... and do you know which one that is? I forget the name. Yeah, but it was Robert Redford and Brad Pitt, and it was... It was Brad Pitt was in a Chinese prison. Quarter Comics. Brad Pitt was in a Chinese prison. I'm not familiar with this movie at all. Um, but Robert Redford made a great movie with a, 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 um, in, in the 90s called Sneakers. And uh, it's kind of like a spy movie, but not really. It's it's really fucking good. You remember Sneakers, right? Yeah, I remember Sneakers. Sneakers is good, man. I didn't like it. Because you're gay. Robert Redford? What was that movie called? I don't know. Spy Game. Spy, I didn't see Spy Game. It was excellent. You should watch it. Okay. Really good. I mean, you know what was great, a great spy movie? Yeah. Casino Royale, dude. That was great, too. Yeah. They nailed it. Like, like, w- like, probably one of the best Bond movies, dude. Sure. They nailed it on that one, and then it went to shit again. Yeah. Yeah, because some, like, I feel like Mission Impossible, like, is too much action, right? Too and much. Then, and then there's movies like Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, which is just... Too much spy? Too much spy. Yeah. Like, too much intrigue and boring. But that, like, that's what made Mission Impossible 1 good. It, it, was, it was a it great was a, balance. It was a good balance. You got a lot of action, but at the same time, there's a lot of mystery going on, you know? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, he has another face on. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, I was watching it. It's cause so, so, so he's got the messages that will self-destruct, and it's on a tape, and then the tape goes away, but you see a video. Mm-hmm. I was like, nowadays, we could just take our phone and record it. Yeah. <laughs> so like, that whole self-destruct thing, it's like, right. it's pointless now. Yeah. Yeah. They need a new gimmick. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Mission Impossible 6, Fallout. Check it out. It is in theaters now. It's a Tom Cruise movie, and Tom Cruise doesn't make bad movies. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or search us, 
Corker Comics under YouTube. Check us out at our stores, too. One in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just East University. And one in Miami on 107th and 8th across from FIU for a talent pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm Stephen Corker. One. Later. Thank you.